Here's my review of Airy One Marble PLA. All right, so here's my look at, uh, I believe it's Airy One uh, Marble Filament. Uh, PLA. So I've used their Pet G before and a couple different colors. Uh, wanted to do some flower pots was my main sort of thing here. So um, thought marble might be a cool look for that. So uh, first off, uh, as uh, found with all their stuff tends to come in a pretty sturdy uh, bag, pretty well sealed. Silica gel, keep it nice and dry. Um, I live in a relatively humid sort of house and all of that, so um, good to keep things uh, as dry as possible. Um, interesting, I, I, I thought I saw on the product listing um, that uh, it was a 0.05 uh, tolerance. This is plus or minus 0.03, so that's uh, it's good. Um, does come with a recommended uh, cooking temperature there, 200 to 220 C. So uh, I will put that to the test there. So there's the uh, marbly kind of look. Really thinking that's going to be cool for uh, some flower pots in my kitchen. Uh, I have some sort of ceramic that's uh, similar. So I think that will uh, complement that really well. All right, so taking a look at the uh, filament. Pull a little bit through there. Pretty flexible. So. Feels pretty uh, smooth there. So, try to get a ballpark on the filament width there. So, 1.74, there we go. So, just initial spot check, pretty, uh, pretty much right on there so let me uh, throw it on start doing a little bit of flow calibration and some retraction tests and see how it starts working for me okay here's uh, the results from uh, several days worth of uh, testing with the uh, Harry one marble uh, PLA filament really happy with this stuff gave uh just the look i was uh wanting to do for some flower pots i'll get to that i started with of course uh trying to get that good first layer I'm pleased with that i think i got that uh, i looked at flow and i'm pretty sure that was uh, right at 1.0 for uh for my slicer uh, of course, looking at uh, temperatures, and they recommend 200 to, to 220, and sure enough, once you start getting below that level, it uh, really breaks down. Uh, but uh, for me, 205 is what I was printing at, except for the, the vase where I wanted a little, a little hotter for flow. Uh, looked pretty good here, and I was happy with it on the prints. Retraction, I kept my standard machine settings here. I played around a little bit with some different settings and just landed back where I normally am. I'll post that hopefully in the notes. And uh, was was very pleased with uh, uh, the retraction just on this one test. There's a tiny little, little blobby thing there, but I didn't see it on any of my real prints. So uh, happy with that. Of course, a few obligatory test prints that I like to, of course, do, and then a little filament swatch uh, just to refer back to, so I can 
remember how a filament printed when I want to go back to something here for choices. Uh, of course, here's why I bought it was for doing some flower pots for, uh, for in the kitchen. I thought it would be a rather elegant sort of look, almost, you know, stone sort of finish. I thought it would be maybe a little more rough um, than it is, but it's actually uh, pretty smooth. A little, tiny little bit of texture. It looks sort of very rock-like, I guess, um, and uh, pretty smooth. I think I have a couple little, um, maybe a little binding on my my z-axis in a couple spots but it uh, unless you catch it really really in the light you don't really see it so it's a very forgiving kind of uh, um, thing there so um, pretty uh, pleased with that um, I'm gonna like the look of those um, in our kitchen I printed this to be just something a little beefier to actually look like it's uh, you know carved out of stone and then I think it's a pretty realistic, um, pretty cool look there for, for uh, some succulents. I think I have a cactus to go in there. And then the, uh, the real big guy, 23 hour print uh, that I'm really happy with. Um, that, a little bigger something for, uh, for uh, in the kitchen. Um, just something I thought would be a unique, uh, style there and the uh, you know stone sort of look I think it's really really good and then uh, I just played with a with a little vase that I thought might be interesting to see how it would flow and uh, worked fine just boosting the uh, flow and this is just a 0.4 millimeter nozzle so if I were gonna do real sturdy vases I need to get a bigger nozzle for that but I just thought this would look kind of cool more decorative than than actually using the vase but uh, all right so here's a little close-up photos of some of the uh, prints here this is the uh, thick uh, succulent uh, planter flower uh, flower planter thing here's a just a hexagonal um, small has a little nice drainage holes they, they worked really well and a, a drip tray at the bottom uh, i made a few of those they're being put to use uh, kind of a bigger twisted hex pot I kind of like this hexagonal thing so uh, I've already done a couple of those uh, did one with a 0.8 nozzle turned out well as well and uh, my little filament swatch here uh, kind of cool and then uh, probably my uh, most distinctive benchy thus far I think it turned out pretty well tiny bit of stringing there in that back window and then uh, just a little flower uh, little vase here just as a test here and then a, another look at everything together wanted to wrap up here i think everything worked out uh, just as i would expect no problems very happy with my results so i hope this um, helps you out if you're considering uh, marble filament i have no trouble recommending the airy one marble pla worked well for me hope this helps you out have a great day and happy printing